Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. Whatever you are feeling today, there is a remedy for it in the Bible. Jesus wants to give you peace and joy and hope and rest and the gift of His presence. All you have to do is open your hands and open your heart and receive those things. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host. And all this week, you and I have been camping out on what we know about God. And today, because it's Friday, you know what that means. It's time for Joy Bombs in the Psalms. We are going to spend some time celebrating our Lord, just expressing the gratitude that's been rising up in our hearts all week. So I want to invite you to join me in Psalm 84. I always want to encourage you, if you can, to take a pause on Friday. And instead of multitasking, I listen to a lot of podcasts while I fold laundry or catch up on work or do the dishes or dust, whatever it is I'm doing around the house. But on Fridays, it's so cool if you can, and sometimes we can't, I get that. I'm right there with you. If you can just pause on what you're doing, close your eyes, light a candle, even put your palms out before the Lord and just receive his word. If you can't, hey, praise the Lord. (laughs) It's awesome that his word is going into your ears right now no matter what you're doing. So without further ado, Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's armies. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body, and soul, I will shout joyfully to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home And the swallow builds her nest and raises her young at a place near your altar. O Lord of heaven's armies, my King and my God, what joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessings. They will continue with blessings. They will continue to grow stronger, and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. O Lord! God of heaven's armies, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. O Lord, look with favor upon the king, our shield. The Lord is your shield. Show favor to the one you have anointed. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God, then live the good life in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord God is our sun and our shield. It's the second time in this psalm that we're thinking about God as our shield, your protector, my protector. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing for those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. O Lord of heaven's armies, we come to you right now, my friend and I. Some of us are kind of beat up from a long week of checking off to-do lists and running here and running there. And right now we take a moment to sit in your presence because you tell us in your word, Lord, where two or more of your followers gather, you're here with us. Wow. Lord, you're here with us right now. I ask you to breathe upon us. Lord, you are our sun. You light the way for us. You light up the path so we know where to go. 
You are our shield. You're our protector. You are always there watching over us, filling us with your joy. Lord, help us to trust you more. Help us to lean on your promises and lean on you. Lord, I want to put my head on your shoulder. That is such a beautiful thing to think about. My head on your shoulder. Lord Jesus, we know you are so close. We know that you care, that you count the hairs on our heads. Thank you for being our personal God, the one who goes before us and who is with us and never leaves us. Lord, we feel your love. We receive it. We return it in full measure. It's in the name of the Lord of Heaven's armies, Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, in whose name we pray. Amen. All right. Until next week, you're really loved. Thank you for listening to the Bible for Busy People. I really enjoy our time together studying God's Word, and I'd love to get to know you. If you ever want to connect, feel free to email me at erica at purposely.com. We're a growing community, and you are welcome here wherever you are in your faith walk. Maybe you're ready to say yes to Jesus and to accept His love and forgiveness. You'll be starting the best journey of your life, or maybe you need someone to pray for you. Check out our show notes for more encouragement. Behind every good thing, there are amazing people who are using their time and talents to make it happen. Thank you to the dream team that makes this podcast possible. Debbie, Donna, and Rebecca, y'all are not only rock star colleagues, but dear friends. I love y'all. The Bible for Busy People is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose. And you are loved.